Welcome to Waytech Society Python Tutorials 5. Um, today we'll be looking at how to use Python in solving some basic problems we face in life. Suppose we are having a problem like the one we have on the board at Mr. Konko Bookstore, an Akiola Electric Mass will cost 70 CDs per copy. To motivate his sales personnel, the owner of the store offers bonuses and commission. For example, for any copy sold, the sales personnel get, uh, gets a bonus of 7 CDs if the sales are done on, uh, during the weekends, and 5 CDs if the sales are done on or during the weekdays. He also gets a commission of 500 CDs if his total sales for the day is greater than or matches 7,000. He makes a Python program that calculates his total earnings for the day. To solve a problem like this, you must first analyze it and you must have basic knowledge on Python. And quite apart from that basic knowledge, you must also have knowledge in decision structure and Boolean logic. Um, so, we'll first analyze the question then we'll, before we do the coding. So, let's analyze the question. The question is saying, and if you look at the question well, the question doesn't ask you to ask the user to input values, in, but it didn't ask you to ask the user to input some values for it to be done. But if you want to solve the problem easily, you, you, you can ask the user to input the figures there to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. That's a procedure I'm going to follow. So first, the first thing to do is, um, they said to motivate sales personnel, the owner of the, uh, the store offer bonuses and commission for what? For example, for any copy sold, the sales personnel gets a bonus of seven CDs if the sales are done on, uh, during the weekends. And now the question is uh, the question the main question is uh, is write a program or a Python program that calculates his total earnings for the what day for the day. He's saying for the day. Okay, now let's solve the problem. the user to input the quantity sold for the day. The question says if the quantity is you also get a commission of 500 if his total sold for the day is greater than or matches if matches ten thousand or much greater than or greater than or matches seven thousand. So here you put and uh, you put a if So here you so here you define an if you also, so here you define if statement. So if quantity is greater than or equal to seven thousand. You bring your column, it's very important, else you run errors. 
commission to be equal to the quantity by the 500 series they said the person will be enjoyed or enjoying. So uh, if you are looking or if you see carefully, he has kept column there. And th that column is very important. And here I've left out some space. I mean, just type, uh, start right in front of the e statement. So you see, that's how Python is it's very sensitive. Here, the column, if you don't bring it, you run error. And the indentation I did here, if you don't do it, Python is sensitive in, uh, in, the, uh, in terms of uh, indentation. So if you don't indent it, it will run error. And that indentation is just four spaces, four spaces, or one tab. Okay. So you are saying here, this code means you are telling it that if the quantity inputted here by the user is greater than or equal to 7,000, then the permission should be quantity times 500. So now, if it is not up to that, what should it do? We have to put it there. Else, column. Here, there's something you should know. Um, right after the column, you can continue the code. And if you want, you hit enter and come down and do it. So let me use that method as we've been using. Else, commission will be equal to, here you can put zero, just zero, and leave it like that, or here you can put quantity should be multiplying nothing. Because the question says if it is more than or equal to 7,000. So if it is not, what should be done? It should, nothing should be done. It should be zero. Commission should be zero. Or it should be quantity times zero, which will give you the same zero. Okay. So now here, you see, the question is saying that with the bonuses, or with respect to the bonuses, the question is saying that um, for example, for a copy of, uh, for a copy sold, the sale personnel gets bonus of seven CDs. If there's an if statement here, if the sales are done during what weekends, so here there's something we need to do. We have to pass another if statement again or if condition again. So here, but first you must ask the user the day, the, the day that he's doing the sales. You must ask the user to input that day. The day that he's doing the sales is very important in order to get the bonuses as in the question. So here we we'll ask the user to input D. D should be equal to input Z. Today is what? You see, inside this input function, you can put anything you want there, but it should be sensible. Today is what? If you just meet someone and you ask the person, today is what? Definitely you are asking the person, what is today? Is, is it Monday? Is it Tuesday or Saturday? In that order. So after asking the user to input the day he made the sales or the day he's making the sales, there's something very important you have to do here, and that is controlling the casing. Here, you might put in your codes, you might define with uh, the days with lower case, and then the user might be entering caps. If you don't control it, it will run error. So to control it, this is what you have to do. Basically, you just have to today is equal to day dot lower. And you bring your braces, and that's all. You've controlled it like that. So I've used lower here because in our uh, if statement, we'll be defining our if statement with lower 
kissing uh, uh, the days. So that's why I've used the lower end. Or we're using in simple words, we're using small letters in the code. So now after controlling the casing, you have to now pass your statement. That's your if statement. If bracket open day is equal to string it, please, Monday. Or D is equal to Tuesday. And you close your and you break your column. It's very important. Bonus. Now let me explain this code well so that you understand. You see here you said if day is equal to Monday. It's saying that if the day the user is inputting is Monday. If you spell it Monday, then what should happen? Will come there. Or if he puts Tuesday, not Monday, what should happen? So the thing that should happen is bonus will be equal to what? Your quantity. The bonus on weekdays was what? Five C's. So you bring your five C's. And you come. You still continues because with this we have five days. We don't have Monday and Tuesday only. So Elif, since we are going to input more, we we'll use Elif, not else. Elif day is equal to string it your days, please. Wednesday. Wednesday. And your spellings too, you should be very careful about it. Or day is equal to Thursday. Column. Bonus should be equal to quantity the same and the same five C's. Elif, the last day on the weekdays day is equal to Friday bonus will be equal to quantity and five so we're moving here in lieu of uh, the weekends Elif D is equal to string it Saturday or D is equal to Sunday. Bring your column. Bonus should be equal to quantity times seven series. Because for the weekends it was seven series. So now let me explain something here so that you understand. Um, in my previous uh, videos, I've heard people ask me what is the difference between this equals sign on and this equals sign. Now there's something you should ask, uh, understand. This equal sign is an assignment operator. And this one, the double one, is a comparison operator. Now, the comparison operator, what it does is um, it compares the right hand side operand to the left hand side operand. If it is true, then it will go by the condition. If it is false, to it will go by the else condition. Now, uh, the Single uh, equal sign is just it will store the value at the uh, right hand side operand to the left operand. What is here, like for instance, the bonus is equal to quantity times seven. Whatever is here will be stored in the bonus. That's what it does. 
So basically, that's the difference between the two um, equal signs. So now we've passed on all our if statements. So now we say else, else to mark the end of the statement. Print. You see, if if the user didn't, we have, so in a week we have uh, Monday to Sunday. So if the user doesn't input any day or if the spelling is a spelling mistake, we should have a correction. So that correction is just what I'm going to do here. It should tell the user something about it. So you didn't. input the day. As I said, in this one, you have to pass uh, whatever you think you put there, but it should be sensible or logical. You can also say, else you didn't input a day name, or else you didn't input, um, yeah, something, anything which is logical. So now what this else statement does is that if you input anything like the Saturday, if you spell Saturday like this, it will come. This message will display for the user to see. You didn't input a day. Or you didn't input, okay, let me put it this way. I'll put it, you didn't input a correct day or a day. Correct day. But you can put anything you want there. So now, after passing all these statements, we now have to the question itself says that write a Python program that calculates its total earnings. So we now have to calculate total earnings. And that is very simple. You just have to say total earnings is equal to the commission plus the bonus. And that's all. So you have to display it for the user to see. In displaying it, you can use print petition your total earnings for today is Ghana sees, you close it there, plus, you have to string this statement. You bring the total earnings. Then you close two brackets. That's all. So, Okay, since we finish um, the coding on the board, let's uh, try it on the machine and see what it will look like. So, we first ask the user to put in the quantity. Our quantity is equal to int. Um, what is your 
Pass our if statement. Remember to bring your column. Our permission will be equal to our quantity. Times uh, 500 series. Else, else our commission, our commission will be equal to quantity times zero. Um, initially I said here if you want you can just do commission is equal to zero because um, quantity times zero still will give you zero so there's nothing wrong with doing it that way now we'll ask the user what the day is the day input today is what here you can put question mark but I just like using the column. Um, let's control our casing as we said already. Day dot lower is done. Now uh, we'll be passing our if statement on the day. Um, if day equal to Monday day is equal to Tuesday then your column is very important uh, our bonus equal to uh, quantity uh, quantity times five series all if our day is equal to Wednesday Wednesday our uh, day um, is equal to Thursday when our column bonus is equal to quantity times five so um I leave the last day on the uh, the weekdays and they to go to Friday be careful with the spellings Friday Spellings, you have to be careful with it. Uh, um, bonus. Sorry for you. One to two. Four times five. Ali. Day. Alif or B Alif or B does the weekends so or B is equal to um, 
be. Or base is all to Sunday. Weekends was um one of those weekends was seven cities, so we put our seven cities there. Um, so we pass our L statements now. Else print Shoot for our total enemies. Total enemies is equal to our family. Formation as a bonus. And does it. You have to print the permission for the user to see. Okay. Well, the total enemies rather. Total enemies. Okay. You have to string it because it's a variable, so you have to convert it to a string before you can now add it. You, you can't add variables to string, but you can add strings to strings. So, we uh, string it here, it's very important. Total. That's all. So we can run and see what happened. Um, so, uh, today, you guys come. What is your total sales for today? So let's put something more than the 7,000 and see. Let's say 8,200. Today is what? Let's check and see if our uh, facing is controlled by putting capitals or mixing itself. Uh, Monday. Today is Monday. That works. Uh -huh. Okay, so is this a minor one at all? If you don't um, uh, check your spellings, well, that's what will be happening. So. Um, it said total earnings is not defined because here there is S and here there is no S, so I'll have to add the S here, and that's all. That was just a mistake. So let's run again. Um, let's run again. So let's put our 8,200. Uh, today, yes, as we did, let's do that again Monday. Center. You see, it has come. The total earnings for today is 4,141,000. So you have to be very careful with um, your spellings when coding. It's very important. When you define a variable and you are to use a variable, the spellings must be the same. Or you run errors just like I did. So that's all about that question. Um, that question uh, was. One of our mid trying questions, um, uh, UDS, uh, University for Development Studies in Avongo Campus, Ghana. Uh, that was one of our uh, mid trying questions, level 100, first try, uh, second trimester. Um, uh, 
Thank you for watching. Okay. Well, um, so that's all about that question. That was just all about how to solve it. Um, we'll be coming up with more problem solving questions on, and then how to use Python in solving them. Um, so thank you very much for your time and then if you really like the video and you like to be notified when we update please click on the bell like icon um, and subscribe and if you I would like if you share the video especially campus students here please if you see the video share